guys, what is up? This is Real American Studios, and I'm bringing you guys, like, you know, uh, this has been on my mind a lot lately, and it's like, it's talking about, alright, so, YouTube demonetizes a lot of videos. They're really strict with their monetization, you know, process. But have you guys noticed that it seems to be more selective all right so like first off I want to talk about all right so as you know there are quite a few female youtubers out there but you notice a recurring thing with female youtubers and guys who feature their girlfriends in their YouTube videos like it, like in the thumbnail it's always got a sexualized picture of their girlfriend or just the youtuber in general and you know, like, if YouTube's pushing a family friendly agenda, why are these thumbnails allowed? And it's pretty simple, because these are the YouTubers and they're making YouTube money. So, like, basically, you know, you can get away with freaking murder as long as you're bringing in that moolah for YouTube and for yourself. Now, like, I see that as a huge problem, and I promise you this YouTube, this video is probably going to get, like, copyrighted or something, and they're probably going to start putting ads in it to make money off of it, like, oh, well, not my problem, man, if they, they can do them, but it just proves my point that I'm right. And also, another thing, if you notice, Logan Paul and Jake Paul are pushed pretty heavily on YouTube. They got no repercussions for some of the crap they did, you know. Like, Logan Paul was filming the dead body. They got no backlash. Like, they got backlash from everyone else but YouTube. And yet, there's still people out there that defend them. You know, it's kind of ridiculous. Whereas, and also, like, I feel like there should be some backlash for making up stories about a YouTuber. Like, for example... Shane Dawson, I, lo I like his videos, you know, I do watch his videos, got accused of being a pedophile because somebody took something he said before and they cut it down to make it seem like he was a pedophile. Shane, you know, if it wasn't for him having the video evidence to prove that he's not a pedophile, that could have easily ruined him. You know, like, he could be in jail right now. You know, and that's a big problem. When YouTube allows stuff like this, you, well, I'm, I'm not putting examples on screen, you know, because, you know, I'm, I don't, like, you guys have seen it for yourselves. If you have it, then you must have been living under a rock. But, yeah, and, and like, for starting fake beef with phase banks, like, Team 10 starting fa uh, beef with phase banks, but then all three of them, like, Involved, you know, Rice Gum, Logan Paul, Jake Paul, Face Banks, they all turn it into views. So now you've got fake beef. You know, like, what is this, YouTube? But yeah, a guy like Leon Lush, he might occasionally put, like, you know, an edit of a penis flying into his mouth. I mean, you know, like, that's not as bad as accusing somebody of being a pedophile. Or filming a dead body, or like, as he lands music video, got a lot of ass, got a lot of tits in it, you know, like as he lands showing off her body. All right, it's cool that you're you're confident in yourself, and you know that you got a nice body. Yeah, I can understand that, but using it for your thumbnails, putting it in the music video to get more and more horny teenagers in is just, you know, it's bad. Like, it's not a good look, YouTube. So, YouTube, my challenge to you is to push, alright, so you suggested, you know, small content creators that should be reviewed. I might be sabotaging that right now, but at the same time, I feel like you guys have got, your system's flawed. You've got to fix your system, YouTube. It's not all about the money. Like, if you, if you like, six-year-olds could be clicking on the stuff because it's not labeled, you know, mature audiences. No, six-year-olds could be clicking on these videos, seeing half-naked women in, like, a freaking, you know, hot tub or something. Like, that's not something a six-year-old should see, you know? Like, all right, they go to the beach and they see it. You know, you could argue that. But doing these sexualized things on YouTube is not something a 
five or six year olds should be seeing. Uh, fake accusations, not a good for views, not a good look for YouTube. You know, like content creators that don't necessarily make the friendliest, like the kid friendliest of content, and yet they're considered kid friendly YouTubers, like Logan Paul, Jake Paul, Rice Gum. You know, those guys are not those guys are not kid friendly. You know, like those guys, those guys are worse than I am, and I'm I'm not even going to sit here and claim to be a kid friendly YouTuber because I mean I do struggle with my mouth, but you know, like these guys, like I, mean, I see a problem here. You know, and like another thing, like it makes it hard for guys like me to even get noticed on YouTube because you're pushing these YouTubers so much that it kind of gets smaller content creators ignored. So why am I putting out a video, you know, dissing some, uh, exposing and dissing some of these problems? Not only this video, but a literal song out that I'm going to eventually put out. If I get the equipment, I'd, I'd make a music video for it one day if, I, if it gets, you know, noticed. But why? Just absolutely why? Like, you're just making it harder for yourselves. I mean, you know, you gotta, you gotta think. It's a process, you know. So, YouTube, my challenge for you is to fix this and to promote. Like, obviously... Not everyone wants to watch family friendly YouTubers. Heck, I don't watch family friendly YouTubers. I mean, Shane, Shane you know, he, he's got a mouth now. He, he curses a lot. But, I mean, Vinny, he curses a lot. You know, even Leon Lush curses a lot. But it's not like these guys are going out and doing ridiculous things that, you know, are worse than cursing. Like, they don't accuse people of, um, you know, being something they're not, they don't put their girlfriends in the thumbnails, you know, half naked or naked to uh, lure in viewers, you know, they don't actually go out and film dead bodies, you know, I mean, you know, it's just, bad. It's, it's a bad look when, you know, you take a guy like PewDiePie, yeah, he's got his controversy surrounding you, but the reason he is your biggest content creator on YouTube is because he's anti-authority. You know, he's anti. Like he, he he goes against you guys a lot. YouTube's just like it's just like you know, say me with Hanel. I enjoyed making the money. Like I enjoyed the money. Hated the job. Didn't have a life. And it, that that's uh, the same goes with PewDiePie. He he's this is his source of income. He doesn't necessarily like the employer he's working for, though. You know, now I enjoy making YouTube videos, and eventually I'll, I do hope, you know, to be one of these guys that are employed. But if this ruins my chances of it, so be it. You know, because I just enjoy making the videos. If I make money off of it, great. If I don't, Whatever, you know. But, you know, I, I just I can't sit back and notice these things happening and not say anything about it. So, again, you know, I just kind of wanted to talk a little bit about YouTube. Well, not YouTube in particular. But the people that are big on YouTube are actually some of the scummiest. You know, PewDiePie... I can respect him. He's worked hard for everything he's gotten. I can respect that. But a guy like Logan Paul, Jake Paul, Rice Gum, FaZe Banks, uh, Luxury Pranks, definitely. To catch a cheater. You know, I can't, I can't respect it. I'm sorry. But, um, anyways, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like. Comment below. What are your thoughts on this? Am I right? And follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and join my Discord. All linked below. And check out all the channels linked below. With that said, Real American Studios out.
Peace out, homies. <laughs>